Hello there, Aaron Sixon here. And in this lesson, we are going to install Tomcat on Windows, specifically installing Java JDK 8 and Apache Tomcat 7, controlling Tomcat, configuring HTT port, and monitoring Tomcat logs in real time. Tomcat is an application server through the use of Java. The server acts like an extended virtual machine that your applications can run within. Tomcat is supported by Apache, the most common web server in the world. The first thing we need to download is the Java Development Kit. For this example, we will use version 8. Go to Oracle's website to download the appropriate installer file. We will download the Windows installer. Web containers may require JDK to support JSP because the Java compiler is required to compile servlets which are generated from JSP files. Next, we will download Tomcat 7 from Apache's website. We will download and install Tomcat via Windows Service Installer. You will find that Tomcat works easily across all operating system platforms and its optimizations make it very dynamic and customizable. Now let's install Java JDK 8. Go through the setup wizard. This will take a few minutes. Once Java JDK 8 is installed, it is time to install Tomcat 7. Go through the setup wizard. Let's include the server startup and native components to our installation. The native library allows Tomcat to use certain native resources for performance and compatibility. Leave all the ports as they are. We will look how to reconfigure the HTTP port later in the lesson. By default, the selected Java path is pointing to the JRE path. We will need to point the path to the JDK, so let's configure this path before we proceed. Once the Java path has been configured, continue to the next screen and install. Wait for a few moments. Now uncheck the options on the wizard before finishing the installation. I will show you how to start and stop Tomcat from its properties screen. Navigate to the bin directory of Tomcat 7 in your computer. For this installation, go to your local disk, program files, Apache Software Foundation, and to Tomcat 7. Go inside the bin directory and double click on the item that says Tomcat 7 w.exe. This will open up Tomcat properties. From the prompt, you will be able to see that you can start and stop Tomcat from here. Let's start up Tomcat. Once we have started Tomcat, open your web browser and type in the address bar localhost colon 8080. Since this is the HTTP port we kept during the installation session. We can now see that Tomcat has been successfully installed and it is running on port 8080. To change the port, you will need to navigate to the comp directory of Tomcat and configure the port in this file called server.xml. For this example, let's configure the port from port 8080 to port 80. By configuring the port to port 80, we will not need to include the port in the address when launching Tomcat from the web browser. However, in order for this change to take effect, we will need to restart Tomcat. So let's restart Tomcat now. After Tomcat has restarted, go back to your web browser and just enter localhost and hit enter. You will now see that your Tomcat instance is not running anymore on port 8080. In this part of the lesson, I will show you how to monitor the Tomcat logs in real time. But first we need to download and install Beartail. So let's do that now. Beartail allows you to monitor logs like Tomcats in real time. Once it has been downloaded, run Beartail and open the Catalina log file found in Tomcat's log directory. Once it is open, this will be monitored in real time.
So let's restart Tomcat as an example and you will see the log being monitored with real-time activity. So with that, I will conclude this lesson. Thanks for watching, be sure to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to catch more videos like this one and I'll see you all in the next one.